The main problem is we are less on information. We don't have information about the graves and the places where the people are buried. Uh, we know that uh, many, uh, all these graves that we already found in Serbia, they have been first buried in Kosovo and after that they reburied them, uh, excavated them, and they buried inside in Serbia and other places here in Kosovo. Uh, so we need, I, I think that. I think that uh, we need from the internationals to make more pressure on Serbian government uh, to tell us the, 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 where all the graves are. By 1999, uh, it was a common, well-known fact that the muskets were located from there. So they changed the modus operandi and they started using the smaller graves, sometimes three to one, etc. Not only that, but then these graves were sometimes uh, hidden within cemeteries, cemeteries. That makes the whole search even more difficult because it's the best place to hide a body, right? A cemetery. <laughs> The missing persons is one of the worst legacies of the, the many wars in, in former Yugoslavia. Uh, it is the result of, of people deliberately hiding bodies, remains of people being killed uh, in the conflicts. And uh, European Union rule of law mission here in Kosovo. Uh, we have been working on identifying uh, and finding missing persons remains now for more than 10 years. It's an essential part of our, our mandate. I'm convinced that without dealing with the missing persons, without continuing to work on, on this legacy, um, it will be difficult to put to rest um, and find uh, reconciliation among people some on, on all, all sides. Um, I think this, this history proves this to be, to be the case. I'm not supposed to be there. I was thinking I was doing some big things.